scale of one to ten, I would give camp like a nine out of ten. I like camp a lot. The weather here is hot. The the places that y'all see me doing all this about is because of who I went with. with another video <gasps> okay sorry if it sounds like a lot of echo your girl still have not furnished her apartment yet but anyway as y'all can see by the title today we are doing a one month update of me living in houston texas y'all i can't believe it's been a month already like time is flying your girl has been a lot of places in a month i have over 20 places on this list and i'm gonna go over each one and i'm gonna rate it on a scale of one to ten and I'm gonna talk about, you know, everything else, like mental, weather, traffic, just everything. Like, ex exactly everything that's been going on. My mental health, baby, is just chef kisses. Like, this is probably the happiest I ever been before. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like, I'm at so much peace, this shit is crazy. Like, if you know, you know that I wasn't really as happy as I wanted to be where I was living before and if you knew here I came from Virginia and now I'm in Houston so but now it's just like y'all I literally wake up so excited I just have so much more excitement like I'm just ready to just start the day do something different even with work like usually I'm very impatient with work I just be like you know what fish I don't want to do this no more but lately it's been easier to kind of cope with because I know when I get off of work, which is still at a reasonable time, it's still light outside, it's so much I can do if I want to go somewhere. And on top of that, I have a car now. So if you know, you know, I did not have a car for a while in Virginia. And it's like, now I got a car so I can go wherever the fuck I want. I'm very happy, I'm at peace, nobody's stressing me out, I don't have no negative people in my life anymore. <sighs> Your girl is just zen. <laughs> In reference to my apartment, my apartment is coming along very slowly because I'm very picky. But I think it's gonna all tie in great. I just ordered my bed like last week. That's gonna take a few weeks to get here, but I'm excited about that, y'all. It took me so long to order a bed. I got my um, kitchen together, everything I need in my kitchen, like that was easy. But now I'm focused on the bathroom, my bedroom, and then the living room. I wanna talk about the traffic here. I hear a lot of people talk about Houston traffic. I personally have not experienced the whole thick traffic, heavy traffic, but I think that's because one of where I decided to move and two, I'm working probably during the hours where most of the traffic is gonna come, which is between probably like working hours, like nine to five. So I work from home. So that's probably why I'm not really running into it. I can't really speak on the traffic. I haven't really ran into no traffic, crazy traffic. Like <laughs> your girl be breezing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't see traffic. That don't mean it's not here. It's just that I haven't experienced the crazy traffic that everybody talks about. And then in reference to the driving, y'all, first of all, <laughs> It's like 70 as the speed limit on the highway. That alone should tell you that people drive very fast here and low key reckless. Like I'm from Baltimore and I thought that the driving in Baltimore was crazy. <laughs> Baby, I don't know, Texas might be beating Baltimore. When I tell you, they don't give up. Like they don't care y'all. They be cutting in front of you, pushing their brakes, everybody's speeding. Like I don't experience nobody going too slow. Like. Yeah, so if you're not somebody that's really like a fast or quick driver, do not come here, cause baby, they gonna run your ass off the road. <laughs> they gonna run you off the road. Also, y'all, it is a lot of driving here. Now, I don't know if that's because of where I live, like I said, or that's just because Houston is big as hell. You gonna drive at least 15 to 20 minutes to get there. Like, unless you like in the heart of Houston where everything is at, then that's different. Now, a lot of people talk about the weather. <sighs> The weather here is hot. Like, it is hot. Like, hot, hot. Like, humidity, everything. So, I'm not gonna lie and say the weather does not bother me, but it don't bother me as much as I thought it would. It just depends. Like, some days, I think the highest I've seen it is 108, which is really hot. And on top of that, the humidity is crazy. Like, you need to consistently drink water, like for real. Like it's, it's like damn near you can't breathe sometimes and that's not no exaggeration. It's really hot and it's really humid here. For somebody that's probably not really into a lot of heat and they don't like 
humidity and like that may bother you you know what i mean but that's for me that's like one of the things i can deal with plus baby i don't put no clothes on <laughs> okay the less clothes the better but baby let's get into these places that i'm into because baby i don't know how your girl has been to all these places in a month but I'm not surprised because I'm not a homebody kind of girl. So this is not in no particular order. I'm going to give y'all my ratings and I'm going to try to drop some pictures here and there, y'all, because I don't vlog every single thing. First place, y'all, is Lost and Found. Lost and Found is a 10 out of 10. I've been to Lost and Found like four times. <laughs> I went to Lost and Found in April when I came here for my birthday. That was my very first time going. And then I've been three times in this month that I've lived here. And I love Lost and Found. The vibe is nice. The hookah is nice. The food is nice. The music is chill. It's something chill, but still cute. You know what I mean? It's not like turn up. You know what I'm saying? It's just cute. And I've always sat outside, so I like the outside vibe. The inside is really pretty. It got like flowers in there if you want to take pictures big mirrors in there it's just like a mood you know what i mean so lost and found is a 10 out of 10 for me and next place i went to is the address i've been to the address twice i went to the address in april and i went to the address since i've been here i have went on a sunday and i went on a friday so i prefer sunday sunday lit lit <laughs> address on a sunday lit one thing I can say about people here in Houston, they gonna dance. Like when you go places, they dancing. And I like that because you know how people be thinking they too cute and they stand around, you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting up and dancing, I be chilling. But I like to see like people really having fun. The next place I went to was bar 220 or 200, 2200, something like that. So that place, I liked it, but then I didn't. The only reason why I didn't like it was because it was too many women. Like, when we went, it was too many girls. I was like, yo, where is the men's? I want to see men. Like, I ain't coming here to see all bitches. <laughs> and I like the fact that it's up high, it's nice, it's kind of small, and I like the lights, the blue lights. Like, the mood is cool in there, but it was too many women. Like, it, it just wasn't it. So, we ended up getting a little section in there, me and her. So, once we got the section, I kind of didn't give a fuck who was in there because we was vibing out, having a good time. But when we first got there, I was like, mm -mm. bar two twenty or two twenty two hundred, I would give them like a like a seven out of ten. Next place I had is Urban Social. Mm -hmm. I went there on an R and B night, so that place is more like for the old heads. No shade to the old heads, because I can hang with whoever. But it's more for the old heads, y'all. <laughs> But it was nice because they was playing all the throwback music, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, <laughs> my favorite part was when they when they um, put the red lights on. That was very sexy, and you know, with the R&B drinks, baby, them drinks, <laughs> them drinks, missile. Like I was lit on one lemon drop. I had two, but that first one had me like. Oh, okay. And who I went with told me in advance that the drinks were strong, but I guess I just was like, let me try by hand. So on a scale of one to 10, I would give them a nine out of 10. Next place I have is Fat Tuesday's drive-thru. I had to put emphasis on drive-thru. Cause y'all, how you got a Fat Tuesday's drive-thru? One thing about Houston, they gonna turn something into a drive-thru. <laughs> They gonna turn something into a drive-through. First of all, I didn't even know I had a Fat Tuesdays here. I actually went on one of my vlogs, so. If y'all not following me already or subscribe, just go ahead and subscribe down, cause your girl be lit, okay? I be doing shit. So I had a margarita. That was cool, but it wasn't hitting like that mango and that hurricane. I mixed mango and hurricane. Baby, hey, you on your back? 10 out of 10 for Fat Tuesdays. And then I got Prey on the list. Baby, Prey is that girl, okay? Pray is the spot. Uh, so I went to pray with my homegirl, Akita. We had fun. It wasn't like, it's, it's a restaurant, first of all. It's not like a club or nothing. It's a restaurant, but it's so sexy. It's getting sexy. It is so sexy, y'all. Like, the atmosphere is nice. They got the dark, dim lights in the inside with the flowers. It's really pretty, y'all, on the inside. Outside is beautiful. Have a beautiful view. If you go, go at night, y'all, because the lights on the buildings and stuff, it's just... And, baby, if y'all go, get the Imperial Salmon. I'm, I'm telling you, you're not gonna regret it. That shit was fire. Straight 10 out of 10. The next place I have is camp. I've been to camp what three times two times 
Y'all, it's really crazy how many places I've been. I, <laughs> and I've been multiple times, that's the crazy. Kent is a vibe. Definitely go after 11, like, you know, which is normal hours. Me and Kita, when we had went, we went a little too early. But they got hookah there, the vibe is nice. They got an outdoor part, which is the part that I like. But I would prefer, if you do go to camp, try to go with like some friends or some family. Y'all can go in on a section, cause baby, they did it big for the section people. I ain't had no section, but when I was looking over there, I was like, damn, next time I come, I need to get a section. <laughs> We didn't have no food there, so I don't have no review on the food. A scale of one to 10, I would give camp like a nine out of 10. I like camp a lot. And plus camp, this is gonna always be a special place for me, so. <laughs> I have been to O2 Lounge. Now I've been to two O2 Lounges. I've been to O2 Lounge and I've been to O2 Hookah Lounge. The O2 Hookah Lounge is like a hole in the wall. That's somewhere like after hour you go, you wanna just literally just chill, like that's it. But the hookah is A1, the hookah A1. But it's definitely on some chill shit. So on a scale of one to 10, I would give that probably like a seven out of 10. Now O2 Lounge is more like a club loungy area. So there is nice. I had a good time there. I went on a Saturday. No, I think I went on a weekday. <laughs> on like a weekday y'all but it was nice they was doing karaoke night that night so people was like singing doing karaoke they had hookah um the food was decent we did get some food i think that was pretty much it but it was definitely a vibe at o2 lounge i like them so on a scale of one to ten i would give them like an eight out of ten so i had to put whataburger down because i have child whataburger y'all when i tell y'all it's a whataburger and a starbucks on every corner i swear it's like what the fuck I've never seen this many Whataburgers in my life. I have tried their peppercorn ranch or something, chicken sandwich, bussin', bussin', do you hear me? And I had like the Texas toast bread with it, fire. I don't care for their fries, I don't like the shoestring kind of fries. That was all right, but my, I think I've been to Whataburger like twice. Like it's not something that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm craving Whataburger, like it's not that serious. But on a scale of one to 10, I would give Whataburger like a seven out of 10. Next place I've been to is Phil and Derek's. Oh! So I went to Phil and Derek's for brunch and that was nice. It was, I think I just, the, the places that y'all see me doing all this about is because of who I went with. Food was good, uh, atmosphere was nice. It's kind of small a little bit, but I think it's known to be a jazz place. I'm not gonna hold you, but they wasn't playing jazz music when I was in there, they was playing regular music. They don't have hookah, so that's not a hookah place, but the food was nice and we got like a, a bottle for the mimosa and stuff, so that was nice. So I get them probably like an eight out of 10. The next place is the aquarium here is I mean, we got kids, I guess, but the aquarium I went in April when I was here and it was just like, I could have just not went. Like, <laughs> it wasn't nothing to be like, oh my God, like the aquarium, like, no. But anyway, I get a aquarium like a six or a five. Like, I really don't care for the aquarium, y'all. So it's not much to really say about that. I also been to, I don't know how you pronounce it, y'all, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. Root, root, root box, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, y'all, but I'm not even gonna try. It's a restaurant. I went with Diamond, so I did vlog that. If y'all wanna go watch that vlog, but um, that was cute. It was nice in there. I like it in there. We catch, we quit the happy hour, which I was happy about. So that was cute, and then I was having fun with Diamond. So definitely, the food was good too, and the drinks. Ooh, that drink was good. I remember that drink. I remember that drink. Cause that drink had me a little lit. I had the blueberry martini, y'all. That drink was buzzing. So I would give them like a nine out of 10. I've been to Prospect Park. <laughs> and FYI, y'all, I have seen that video of that girl that experienced what she experienced at um, Prospect Park. So I'm not sure if anybody would comment that, but yeah, I have seen that video, y'all. Prospect Park was nice. I went with my homegirl, Kita, and her friends, and we had a good time. It's nice and big in there. They got hookah. Man, when I tell y'all, we was taking shots up in there. Baby, we was taking shot, 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 shot. So we had a lot of shots at Prospect Park. I don't remember. Oh, I did. I had shrimp and grits. The shrimp and grits was decent. I, I didn't have like no regular drink. We had mimosa and shots. That was it. Mimosa and shots. So that was cool. I give Prospect Park like a seven out of ten. Next place is Top Golf. <laughs> y'all, I told y'all when I do this, 
like, you know, like that, that mean I went with somebody special. So anyway, I've been to Top Golf. Top Golf was a move. I've been to Top Golf before, but the Top Golf here was it, all the Top Golfs that I've been to, y'all. They look the same. I've been to two Top Golfs here. Um, so yeah. I like Top Golf. I had a good time. Um, I don't think I didn't get no food at Top Golf. We just had drinks. I had yo, huh, baby, them lemon drops at Top Golf. Hey, you and your back. <laughs> so Top Golf is a 10 out of 10 for me. I've been to a Daiquiri's to go drive-through. That was my first um, kind of like drive-through experience that I was like, yo, they got a Daiquiri place as a drive-through, like. <laughs> it's given but i forgot what i ordered there y'all but i know i got one of the drinks that she said was the strongest and i didn't know it was the strongest until after i paid for it so i give them a 10 out of 10 i like that heb is everywhere here in houston that is like their known grocery store and i love heb i have went inside shopping and now i do my online <laughs> you know bougie curbside pickup baby so i love heb I don't really have much to say about it. It's a grocery store. The prices is great. The produce and everything is great. So I love HEB. I've been to European Wax Center, which is not that far from me. I got my <laughs> hoo-ha wax. And the experience there was cool. Uh, the lady was a little rough. I firstly feel like they just end up trying to get you in and out. Like they don't really give a fuck about the experience. They just want to snatch a coochie and get you up out of the chair. So eh, I don't know if I'm gonna go back there. I want to find somebody that's black like, you know, where I could talk about things with her and she'll just snatch my coochie hairs and throw me out the door, you know? Cause that's how I kind of felt. I've been a gloss bar nails or gloss nail bar, however you say it. I think it's overhyped personally for the price. I mean, you, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I just, I'm just cheap y'all. But the experience is nice. Like they got people doing your nails and your feet at the same time. The inside is beautiful. The experience was nice. I just didn't want to pay a hundred and something dollars for my feet and my nails, but they did um, offer, you know, we gave mimosa, wine, I think, and water. You can do all kind of pedicures. I got the one with like the orange, whatever like that. So it was nice, it was cute, but maybe I don't think I'm gonna go there all the time because I ain't paying a hundred and something dollars all the time. I've been to Pilates, I've been to Club Pilates, which I did also vlog that. And that was nice. That was my first time trying Pilates. So that was nice. That was cute. Probably like 10 girls. Everybody was new. So that was like a beginner class. So it was really nice. But Pilates is expensive. Shout out to you if you pay for Pilates on a monthly basis and a gym membership. Yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I love Pilates. 10 out of 10. I just don't want to pay for it. I've been at 13. James Harden 13 restaurant back in April. So I like 13. The food, A1. Atmosphere, A1. Service A1. They get a 10 out of 10 for me. And they got a club and a hookah bar in there, which I didn't go to, but it is there if you want to go. Now the last place I have is a rooftop movie theater, which I have went to in April. And that was really nice. Oh, I got one more place. I'm in a turkey leg hut too. I gotta tell y'all about turkey leg hut. But I'm in a rooftop movie theater that was really nice. Atmosphere is nice. Take pictures there. Like really, really, really cute. If you want to go on a date night at night so sexy like so sexy so 10 out of 10 for that and then last place is turkey leg hut y'all i went in april i have not been back since but i did go to turkey leg hut please make a reservation or you will be sitting or standing in that line for hours and i refuse the turkey leg though fire i had the alfredo one fire and he had the don julio drinks and it got hookah baby turkey leg hut is nice but that's not somewhere that I would just go all the time, but it's really nice. Last thing I want to say, y'all, the gas prices here is much cheaper than Virginia. So that's something that I appreciate is gas stations everywhere. So, yeah. But that is everything, y'all. I feel like I just talked y'all to death. That's my one month update in Houston. If you have any other questions, if I missed anything, let me know. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for clicking on the video.